everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The players will have to battle cold temperatures in the game tonight between the Oregon Ducks and the Boise State Broncos. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Broncos. Fans on both sides think their team is going to win this thing. What's your prediction, Kirk? Oregon knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. I'm smelling something, and it's an upset. The Broncos will win this football game. Teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He kicks it off. Number two, fields it at the nine. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. This secondary's been waiting all week long to go up against this very skilled quarterback. How do you think they'll match up today? This kid is a great player, and I think as long as he doesn't try to force things too much, he's going to have a great game. This defense is going to have to show all kinds of looks today. If they don't keep this quarterback off balance, this game could be over at halftime. It's second down. One man backfield. Let's it fly. Oh, what an interception. He's got some blockers. The 10, and it pays off. Touchdown. Oh, that's a quarterback's worst nightmare. Don't remind me, Coach, but I really think that was a great defensive play. He made a nice jump on the ball and took it to the house. They'll line it up for the extra point. And he adds the extra point. More than nine minutes left here in the first quarter. And the score, Oregon, seven. Boise State, nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Decent kick. Young takes it from the six. There's a missed tackle. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. The offense will take over at the 26. 26 yard line. First and 10. Setting up play action. He lets it go to the middle. It's his tight end. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep, give the receiver some credit too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. They'll bring in their dime package. Avery on the handoff. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. Avery gains about two yards on the run. Second 
Second, Second down, eight yards to go. The, the Ducks line up with six defensive backs. <laughs> Moore with a nice play fake. He looks incomplete. They got to him as he was throwing that time. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Either that or sacked. I don't know how he got rid of the ball. Third it's eight. third down. Oregon brings in the nickel here. He drops back. He's in trouble. Sheds a tackler. He delivers. It falls incomplete. Not much you can do there, Coach. Nope. Not much at all. It's not easy hanging on to the football when there's another guy coming at you. Those are going to be drops more times than not. Boise State lining up the punt. James back deep to return. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Signals for a fair catch. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 21. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Thomas hands it off. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee, you can never tell. It's second down now and 13 to go. The Ducks with four receivers. James on the delay. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. Didn't get anything. It's third down. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Going deep. Got him. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Oregon. What a big, big touchdown by the tight end. You're telling me he caught the ball and ch -ch 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 took it to the house. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends it downfield. Number two takes it at the eight. Broke away from one. Number 23 probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Take over at the 37. Hey. Avery is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He'll dump this one off. That's incomplete. Number 39 was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. Receiver on the play. They line up at the 37. It's second down. Boise State comes out with an eye formation. Moore steps back to pass, throws it to the outside. In the air, it's intercepted. And that's the second time he's come away with one on defense there, guys. Well, this guy's just a real ball hawk out here. The quarterback had better start looking to the other side of the field just to be safe.
This drive will start at the 42. First and 10. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Thomas hands it off. Brought down at the 46. A pickup of four on the play. Second down and six. Ball on the 46-yard line. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. He's going to be sacked for a loss. Right. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 43. Six. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Across the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. And that'll make it fourth down coming up. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Young is the deep man awaiting the return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Young takes from the 10 with the spin. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? They'll start this drive at the 17-yard line. Boise State comes out with three receivers bunch. With the throw, he's knocked out of bounds at the 20. And the completion nets him very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that play? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in and got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything there. They line up at the 20. Second down, seven yards to go. The Bronco have three receivers bunched. Inside handoff. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It's third and seven. Ball on their own 20. This defense is in the dime. Moore drops back to pass. Intercepted. Well, guys, I don't know. What can you say? You know what they say, don't you? The offense's best friend is a good defense, and that is especially true in this case, except for one thing. The defense is one guy. This kid just recorded his third interception in the game. Unbelievable. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. He unloads it. Complete. What a catch. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Oregon trying to go up by three scores. The Ducks line up with three wide. Thomas back to pass. And he picks it off in the end zone. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. You're right, Kirk. Now they got the big MO move on their side. to work at the 20. The Broncos line up in an I formation. Moore 
Looking to throw on first down. He wants it all, going long. He's all the way down to the 43-yard line. And we got an injured player on the field. It's first and ten. Oregon comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Incomplete pass. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Second, Second down, 10, ten yards to go. On ball on the 43. Big yeah. dog, big dog. Hot. Moore drops back, and it's picked off. Young with a takedown at the 44-yard line. This defense is just putting on a clinic today, Coach. They've done their job today. That's four interceptions for this game. Yeah, and this offense just didn't look right from the get-go. Hasn't been their day. They'll the offense will start at, at the 44. Line. First and 10. Thomas is back in the gun. He's going to try to throw. He jukes him. Tackle at the 34-yard line. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. First and ten. The Broncos go with the I formation. Avery gets the call. Gets past the tackler. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, coach. The halfback had nowhere to go from the get-go. from the 34-yard line. It's second down. Moore drops the throw. He's looking, steps up, he throws. And it falls incomplete. Number 85 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it third down. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 34. The Ducks bring in their dime package. Looking. Got hit as he threw. It's complete. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. They get a one-yard loss on that one. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 49 awaits the snap. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Lewis. Signals for a fair catch, and he can't hang on to the ball. First of all, kick catching appearance on the kicking team. 15 yards from the spot of the foul, first down. It's first down. Ball on the 17 yard line. The Ducks with four receivers. Looks to pass. He tosses it short. Ball is tipped. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Good defense there, guys. I wonder if the quarterback was expecting to see man coverage there because he threw it right to the defense. And that's what's so tough about playing against the zone. You think a guy's open, and out of nowhere, a defender shows up. Just like that. The Broncos line up with six defensive backs. James gets the ball, can't pass him up, and down he goes. 
at the 31. And what a run! And here's a stat for you. This kid ran a 4-3, non-wind aided 40. Now that's fast. Non-wind aided? What are you talking about? I don't care if he had to wind or not. This kid can fly. First they line up at the 31. The First down. The Ducks line up with three wide. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked. They line up at the 26, second and long. Boise State lines up in a dime defense here. James will run it again. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. James gets about four yards on the play. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 30. Thomas lines up in the shotgun, chucks it deep down the right side. Oh, what an interception. Looks like we've got an injured player down there. Can't tell who it is yet. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. The They're on the right on side of the 50 the as they start this drive. First and 10. The Broncos are lining up with three receivers. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. With the tackle, one yard loss on the play. Second down. Boise State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Moore on play action. It's tipped. The defender had it and then dropped it. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looks like he was trying to catch a grease pig. Easy, Scooter. At least he kept the receiver from making the play. It's third and 11. Ball on the 47 from the gun. Moore back to throw. The Cavalry's coming. And they got him. And he's sacked by the senior at defensive end. He did a great job of getting into the backfield, but give some credit to the coverage as well. There's just nobody open downfield. Boise State ready to put this one away. James is back deep to return the punt. Hangs it up high. James calls for the fair catch. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. The offense will take over at the 21. Thomas back in the gun. Juke move. Broke away from one. Tackle at the 27. James gets six yards on the carry. Second it's second down and four to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Thomas has five receivers lined up here. to pass. Wants to get it out on the screen. And he's hit immediately. That's a loss of about three. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it go. And it's the senior. 
Whoa, that was close. The defense thought they held him there. Well, the offense only got the first down by about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with a new set of downs. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 31. They line up in the shotgun. Gets it to the back. Tries to juke. Brought down at the 32-yard line. He might have gotten a yard at best. From their own 32-yard line. Second and nine. The Ducks come out showing three wide. Thomas, back to pass. He throws it. He snags it. Sheds that one. And he's tackled at the 37. That'll be a gain of five. Five-yard gain on the play. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with a score, Oregon 14, Boise State nothing. Third. They'll line it up again on third down. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. They'll throw again, defense hasn't stopped them yet. Pressure that time and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. The Ducks line up the punt. Young back deep to return. Number 49 punts it away, and this one's got some distance. Young fields it the 17. Oh, man, he took him down hard, and he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. First and ten. Ball on the 17. Five DBs on the field. Moore delivers. Finds his back with some room to run. A good play fake that time. Here the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back. And the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And the quarterback did a tremendous job of the fake handoff too. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Drops back on first down. He passes it, and it's caught, and they make the stop at the 42-yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second and four. Ball on their own 42. Avery lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Moore off the fake. It's deflected, brought down with only one man to beat. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball, and if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. First down. The Broncos are lining up with three receivers. There's the play fake. He's going right. It's complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on the 31. They're in the eye. Gets that one, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of one on the toss play. Right. 
Third it's third goal. down. Ball on the 32-yard line. Tackles him for a loss on the play. That'll be a loss of one. Fourth down, and they'll attempt the field goal. This one is from 50. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it splits the upright. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They get everything right. It's a good snap, a good hold, and then a good kick. Boise State is ready to kick it away. Number 24. He sends it off. Number 24 takes it at the 8. He jukes at the 30, at the 40, down the sideline. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. That looked like a breakdown in kickoff coverage. Instead of staying in their lanes, they all started spring to the football. That's exactly what happened. You can't do that. Good field position here. They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. Thomas is back in the gun. Thomas drops back. He passes it. And that one's incomplete. The defense looked alive on that play. Yeah, Coach, he did a great job of reading the play and beating the receiver to the ball. That'll make it second down. It's second and ten. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Deep pass down the left side. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 12. Hey, if they were ever looking for a playmaker, then they found one in this wideout. Yeah, he really broke it open on that catch. Don't be surprised if the quarterback looks for him again very soon. They're in the red zone. They'll work from the shotgun. Thomas, options left. He fakes a pitch, and he takes a big hit at the 16. It's second down. Thomas with three wide receivers. The running back has it. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. It's third and 13. Ball on the 15-yard line. Thomas has four receivers lined up here. Thomas back to throw. Short toss. He got his receiver with nobody around it. Boy, does this kid have an arm or what? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. They're going to go for the easy three here. This one from about 23 yards out. Trying to get that home field advantage, and the defense is doing their best to fire up this crowd. And they tack on three points.
Oregon to kick. Decent kick. Young has it at the five. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. They'll set up shop at the 22. Start the drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Boise State comes out in the shotgun. Looks. Here they come. He's brought down at the 15. It's second down. Ball on the 15 yard line. Moore comes to the line with three wide. Moore steps back to pass, catches it. Rowe tackles him for a loss on the play. And they'll lose a yard there. Third it's third and down and a long ball way to go. Ball of the 14. Sack. Oregon put six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Sack for a loss at the five. Wow, he just went boom right down. That doesn't sound good, right especially when it's your quarterback who goes boom. The Broncos line up the punt. James is back awaiting the punt. He gets it off. James fields it for 42, and he tackles him hard at the 37-yard line. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37. They come out with three wide receivers. Thomas, hands off. He's hit and got away. Thompson tackles him at the 37. Zero yards on that play. It's second and ten. They line up in the shotgun. Thomas running the option. And they hit him in the backfield. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 41. Thomas is back in the gun. Look at the throw. Steps up in the pocket. He looks. Fires deep down the right side. Batted ball. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. Wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. I bet you that defender thought it was a pretty fast. Too bad it bounced off his hands. That should have been an INT. Number 49 is waiting for the snap. He punts this one high in the air. Calls for the fair catch. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for a slow bowl replay to recap it. They'll take over at the nine yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Let's it fly. Picked off. I don't believe it, guys. That's his fourth pick of the game. Man, that is crazy. You want to know what crazy is? The quarterback keeps throwing at him. Now that's crazy. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. Thomas, back to throw. 
throws it to the outside. The five, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. They made that touchdown look really, really easy, Coach. And that's what you get when you practice hard all week long. Practice makes perfect, my friend. And that was as close to perfect as you will get. They line up for the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Oregon 24, Boise State 3. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Young takes it at the four. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. This drive will start at the 21-yard line. First and 10. The coach has put in a new quarterback, and I can't blame him because four picks is way too many. Almost intercepted. Young was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. It's second down. The Bronco line up with a single set backfield. Avery takes a pitch. He spins. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Avery gets about a yard on the play. Third now it's third and nine, nine coming up. Ball, Ball of the 22. Avery is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Looks to pass. He's under pressure. Sack for a loss at the 17-yard line. That makes four sacks today. This defensive front is tough, and they're really, I mean, really fast, too. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Boise State ready to put this one away. James, the return man. He gets it off. James fields it at the 48. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll start at the 49. At the 49 yard line. First and 10. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Throws to the middle. Hammered down. Thomas looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Trust me, this young man is not going to let these trainers keep him out of the football game. He's as tough as they come, and he'll be back today. Oregon will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Two minutes before halftime. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. He jukes him. Baker with the tackle at the 39-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. Third, Third down. down. Number eight with three wide receivers. Up play action down the middle and he's got him on the run tackle at the 17 Oregon will take a timeout that's their second of the half
Boise State lines up with five defensive backs. They bring him down in the backfield. From the 22-yard line, second down. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. This defense faces another third down. The defense comes out in the dime package. Toss is short. And it's intercepted. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. The offense will start at the 28. The Bronco come out in the ace formation. Looks to pass. He lets it go. It's deflected. Heck of an effort by the defensive back to knock that pass down. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball's in the air and then making the play. They line up at the 28. Second down, 10 yards to go. The Broncos go with the I formation. Drops back to pass. He throws it. And it's the tight end. The 50. And they tackle him at the 36. Boise State will take their first time out of the half. It's first and 10, ball on the 36. First and 10, ball on the 36 yard line. The Broncos come out in the ace formation, throws it out there, it's tipped. This is just tough, tough defense. Yeah, if the safety was just a split second quicker, then he could have picked that one off as well. From the 36 yard line, second down. Boise State goes with the ace set here. He's looking for his man, and he pulls it down. Boise State will have one timeout remaining. We've got a first and ten. Number seven lines up with five wide out. First down. Looks. Got hit as he threw. Incomplete, Incomplete pass. pass. Number three was Number the intended three, receiver the on the play. That'll make it second down. Second it's second and ten. Ball, ball on the 25 yard line. line. The Broncos line up in an eye formation. This one is incomplete. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, that did not look pretty. They'll line up at the 25. It's third down and 10. The Ducks bring in their dime package. Moves up in the pocket. Gets past the tackler. He's wrapped up for the sack. Number Kirk, seven, how many sacks do they have now? That gives them five for the game. This offensive line has got to do a better job of protecting their quarterback. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their last timeout. The 
field goal units out on the field. They're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is up. And it's right down the middle. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 24, back deep to return. Kicks it away. James has it at the five. Well, we've played a half of football, and our score is Oregon 24, Boise State 6. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sends it off. Number 24 has it at the five. A little juke. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. The offense will take over at the 26. First and 10. Thomas lines up in the shotgun. Thomas. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. The Ducks line up with five receivers. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That was a fantastic play by this defense. <laughs> You're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. They line up at the 22. Third and 14. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. And they try to set up the screen. Caught. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. You know what? I don't see this as a bad call. This guy's in a category by himself when it comes to speed. And he'll take this thing all the way to next time with just a little block. Coach, they got to execute better next time. This guy's a fast player, but it looks like they haven't spent enough time on this in practice. Half the guys on the offensive line look lost. Young will be the return man. Cut. Punts the ball away. Young fields it at the 35. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shop at the 40-yard line. Avery on the run. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. Second From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Six. Boise State in a four-wide set. Drops back to pass. Number seven with a bullet. Almost picked off. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. So that'll make it third down. Third, third down. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. 
Let's it go. Picked off from the deflection. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. First down. First it's first and ten. Ball on the 40. The Ducks come out showing three wide. They give to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. James picks up a yard on the play, so that'll make it second down. From the 39-yard line, second and nine. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. He gets to the back. Tackle at the 38. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 38-yard line. Five DBs on the field. Thomas drops to throw. And this one's going to get intercepted. Breaks one. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. Not sure what the quarterback was looking at on that one. Yeah, it cost him. He just threw his third pick of the game. Fellas, you got to give credit to this defense. They're taking advantage of each and every mistake this quarterback is making. They'll this drive will start at, at the 42. Avery First lines up in the deep down. back. I formation. Four. First down. Look at the throw. Picked off. There's a very impressive open field tackle. And they come up with a big play there, don't they, guys? Oh, man. Defense looks very well coached on that play. That's what happens when 11 ball hawking defenders go full speed. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Delayed handoff. Tries to juke. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. A gain of about four yards on the draw. From the 34-yard line. And second down and six to go. Thomas, back in the gun. Thomas, on the option. Third and 11 here. Ball on the 39. The Ducks set up in the gun. Thomas drops back. He jukes it. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The defense now has four sacks in the ball game. They come out in a punt formation. Number eight is back deep to return the punt. He punts this one high in the air. Johnson signals for a fair catch. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the seven yard line. Hot. 
Looks to pass. Under heavy pressure. And he's sacked. Number 99 makes the sack. Loss of four on the play. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. I doubt they put the ball in the air in this situation. Fakes to the back. And they get the safety. So with just over five minutes remaining in the third quarter, the score, Oregon 26, Boise State 6. Number 49 lines up at his 20 to punt this one away. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll, They'll get the ball here at the 38-yard line. First and 10. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. It's a direct snap. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. James gets about four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second down. Ball on the 42-yard line. Thomas with three wide receivers. Juke move. Johnson brings him down at the 43-yard line. James picks up a yard on the play, so that'll make it third down. From their own 43-yard line, it's third and five. The defense comes out in the dime package. James gets the ball, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Thompson is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Young is the deep man, awaiting the return. He punts it. Young fields it at the 18. At the 40, down the sideline. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He returns it all the way to score. And that was a great punt return. What have I been trying to tell you about this kid? Can he run or not? Hey, you're telling us about all these kids. You're right. This guy has some serious talent. They line up for the point after. He makes the PAT. So with less than four minutes to go in the third quarter, the score is Oregon 26, Boise State 13. Number 35 gets set to kick this one away. Number 24 back to return. Decent kick. James takes it at the four. At the 30. That return should help the offense out a little. Yo, this kid is a sensational kick returner. He did a perfect job of reading his blocks on that kick return. Almost perfect. Eh, that's what I said. Almost perfect. They'll go to work at the 40-yard line. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Can't wrap him up. And he's tackled at the 43. Hey. 
Second, Second down. Oregon in a five wide set. Here's the option. Spin move. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own 41 yard line, third and nine. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Throws. That's incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved. As you can see, he's upset here with himself. The Ducks line up to punt. Young is back to return, and he's the same guy that already ran one all the way back. Punts the ball away. Young takes it to 20. And now the offense makes its way onto the field. And here's hoping that this time the drive goes forward, not backwards. First and 10. Ball on the 23. He's looking to pass, throwing left, and it's going the other way. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab the interception. This guy's got potential. I'll tell you what, if he keeps it up, you might see him play it on Sunday. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. The Ducks line up with three wide. Play action, throws it. It falls incomplete. Number four was the intended target on the play, so that'll make it second down. They line up at the 34, so it's second and 10. Thomas comes to the line with three wide. Steps up, looks, sheds one tackler. They brought him down for the sack at the 41. They line up at the 41, third and long. Thomas lines up in the shotgun. Thomas drops back to pass. He snags it. Tackle at the 26. And that catch gives the big fella 100 yards on the day. These guys do a great job of utilizing the tight end in their passing game, something that most teams don't do in college football. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Bronco. Bring in the nickel package. Thomas running the option. Now he pitches it. They'll bring him down at the 17. So they pick up the first on the option play. How about the play of this young man here coming through on a tough fourth down play like this? The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Oregon lines up with three receivers. He gets the pass away. Incomplete. There's a flag on the play. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still it's about down. time they called him for holding. He's been holding on to jerseys all game. Scooter, these refs could probably call holding on every play if they wanted to. These guys get away with a lot. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 27-yard line. Thomas with three wide receivers. What? 
He's gobbled up in the backfield. They line up at the 31. Second and long coming up here. Thomas lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He unloads it. And now he's got room to run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. They line up at the 21. It's third and 14. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. He delivers. Still perfect on the drive. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. Oregon looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. They spread out the defense here. Man, I like this call. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. Good call. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. We've got second and goal. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Oregon 26, Boise State 13. They line up at the four. It's second down. The Ducks come to the line with their jumbo package. They bring him down in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. So the offense is just eight yards away from the end zone, but it's third and goal. The Ducks set up in the gun. throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. And he's tackled at the five-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup. It's fourth down. This will be a 22-yarder. The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. It's up. And he got it. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Oregon is lined up for the kickoff. He kicks it. Young fields it at the three. When I was a coach, I expected points out of my offense every time they took the field. But I told them, no jump shots. Jump shots? What are you talking about? This is football. <laughs> You're right, my friend. Or you should never give up two points to the other team like these guys did the last time. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Boise State goes with the ace set here. What? Drops back to pass. He's going left. What a pick! I can't believe he got another interception. He's actually tied the NCAA record for the most interceptions in one game. This kid is having a game you dream about. No question, he seems always to be in the right place at the right time. He's a big-time playmaker. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. They'll work from the shotgun. Gives to the tailback. That's a great tackle at the 44. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. 
When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. Second down. Big Thomas big is back in the gun. made at the 42 yard line James picks up two yards with a carry so that'll make it third down third and 12 ball on the 42 Thomas comes to the line with three wide the Ducks come out showing three wide feeling the pressure and they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. The Ducks line up the punt. Johnson, the return man. Number 49, punts it, and this is a wonderful kick. Calls for the fair catch. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? Well, Brad, they still have two possessions. I think they have to get into the end zone on this drive. No doubt about it, Coach. Time is running out, and if they want a chance to win this game, then they need a score right here. They'll take over at the 20. Number seven, lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. Number seven, passes. Incomplete pass. Number three was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. It's third and 15. Ball on their own 15. Boise State comes to the line with three wide. Rose has got the screen set up. And they fall on the loose ball. What happened there, coach? Let me tell you what. The wideout wasn't carrying the ball like he should. And the defender made a nice play to jar it loose. They're going to flag the celebration there. First down. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. Nickel defense. James on the handoff. Bounces off the would-be tackler. There's a fumble. Thompson with a recovery. And that's going to give these guys a chance. I tell you what, Kirk, they needed to force a turnover there, and that defense jumped on the football. Now all they need to do is come up with some big plays and put some points on the board in a hurry. The offense will start at the 15. Boise State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Set. Setting up play action. He's looking. He passes it. Complete. What a catch. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. And this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. It's first down. Yeah. Boise State goes with the ace set here. Hot. Looks to pass. He'll dump it short. Complete. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there, and that ball was thrown in the right spot. Right. 
from their own 38-yard line. It's second and five here. The Broncos come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He steps up. He throws it. Catches it. Out of bounds at the 49-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First and ten. Ball on the 49. Number seven with three wide receivers. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Two at the throw. And that one's fallen incomplete. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Broncos have three receivers bunched. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. He can't miss. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone, Coach. Yep. We all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Avery is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Setting up the play action. Blew it. Picks it off. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. They'll start at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Thomas off the fake, and they get the sack. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. I didn't see what happened on the play, but you can only hope that this guy is able to shake it off and get back into the game. Second down. They'll work from the shotgun. Waits till the last moment. He got hit hard. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. Third down. Number eight, back in the gun. Look at the throw. Wants to get it out on the screen. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Tackle at the 22. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Young, back deep to return. Number 49 punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. Young fields it at the 30. There's a missed tackle. Young lost the ball. Haysinger recovers a loose ball. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. First it's first down. Ball on the 37 yard line. Inside you. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. From the 32-yard line, second and five. Number eight with three wide receivers. James up the gut, makes a move. He's taken down at the 24. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. right. 
First and 10. Ball on the 24. Boise State brings in the nickel here. They'll run the option. And they'll get him in the backfield. From the 29-yard line. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Nickel defense. Hut. He drops back. Throwing right. Someone got a hand on it. Lewis was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. They line up at the 29. Third and about 15 yards to the sticks. The Ducks have five receivers on this play. Drops back to pass, steps up, surveys the field. Number eight lets it fly. That was a crucial defensive play in the end zone. Fourth down. This will be about a 46 yard field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it sails through the upright. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Oregon gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off. Young fields it at the three. He jukes him. I don't think we'll see this offense get into a similar situation this time. So you think they'll convert on fourth down if they go for it again? Hey, why not? If you're having to go for it on fourth down a lot, you're not doing so hot, sweetheart. They'll take over at the 26-yard line. Start the drive at the 26-yard line. First and 10. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Looks. He's under some heat. Gets past the tackler. Second down. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Look at the throw. Let's it fly. Oh, great catch. Brought down with only one man to beat. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. Avery lines up as a single back, steps up in the pocket, throws it out there, and they make the stop at the 48-yard line. And he threw that ball in there nicely. Did you see that, Coach? Yes, I did, Brad, and that was a good pass and a very good game. Two minutes left in the ball game. Boise State comes out in the shotgun. Here's the long ball, left side. Got it, and he's brought down. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does, and he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. A 
Avery alone in the backfield. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped it yet. And he is drilled at the 10-yard line. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. It's second and five here. Ball on the 10-yard line. Number seven with three wide receivers. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They line up for the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Oregon 32, Boise State 20. Boise State has their hands team on the field for the onside kick. Here goes nothing. The hands team recovered the onside, so all they have to do now is run out the clock. Right now, the running backs coach is telling everybody, secure the football and stay in bounds. It might sound like common sense, but you just can't stress that point enough. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. Number eight lines up in the shotgun. James gets the call, and he's taken down at the 39. Boise State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From the 39-yard line, second and eight. The Ducks come out showing three wide. He'll get it again, a little juke. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Boise State calls a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. They line up at the 40. Now it's third and nine coming up. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The Broncos take a timeout. And that was their third and final timeout. The Ducks are lining up to punt it away. Number eight is back deep to return. Number 49 punts it. And this is a wonderful kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? I think this one is just too far out of reach. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. First down, look at the throw. Let's it fly. It's intercepted. Touchdown, Oregon! What a great interception return by this defense. Hey, they say the best offense is a good defense. Yep, it sure is when they're putting points on the board. And they're lining up for the PAT. And he adds the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Oregon 39, Boise State 20. Oregon.
Oregon is ready to kick it away. Young and number two, deep to return. Decent kick. Young fields it at the seven. Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. The secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. This drive will start at the 24. The Bronco go with the eye formation. First down, look at the throw. There he goes. And he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. The Bronco set up in the gun. He drops back. Throwing left. Complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 31. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. From their own 31-yard line, it's third and three. Boise State comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw for the first. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Number, seven, Number nine, they got to him again. Awesome. We've seen it all today from the defense. Blitzing, covered sacks, blown assignments. This unit has been embarrassed by the defense here today. Right. Fourth and nine. It's fourth ball down ball now, ball and we'll see the punt yard. team. James is back to receive, punts the ball away. James takes it at the 33. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 36 yard line. At the 36 yard line, first and 10. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And that's the end of the ball game. What are your final thoughts on this game, Kirk? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Boise State probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Oregon 39. Boise State 20. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet signing off. So long, everybody.